I don't just willy-nilly show my porn to everybody. <laughs> when I'm sober. No, I'm, I'm not drinking until after my talk. No, I haven't started yet. Well, you need an introduction. You deserve one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Every speaker deserves an introduction. We'd like to welcome Nicole Newless. She's going to talk about, hey, don't call that guy a noob, toward a more welcoming hacker community. And uh, as you notice, we're an hour behind in this room. We'll continue with that. And uh, we'll also have the uh, hacker cinema in here at 1 AM. So welcome to Nicole. Thank you. As he said, my name is Nicole Newlist. Check Nicole, Nikki, Rogue Clown, Hey Blue. I mean, I answer to just about anything. And I'm here to talk a little bit about how the hacker community can be a little more welcoming to new people. First of all, a few words about who I am. Um, I live in Chicago. I helped start Pumping Station One, which is the hacker space in Chicago. Um, got involved with that in December of 2008 and have been involved with it ever since. Um, but a little more pertinent to this talk, I'm still fairly new to the hacker community. Um, I didn't stumble across anything particularly hackery until early 2008, um, a night of random Wikipedia clicking at you know, 4 a.m. when I was in law school and bored out of my mind, um, led me to the Phone Losers of America. Started posting on that forum, started talking to people through that, then got, you know, clued into things called 2600 meetings and hacker cons and just kind of snowballed from there. Um, my first hacker con was actually the last hope. And then, you know, I've been going to quite a few ever since, just going around meeting a lot of people. But yeah, I've still really only been around for about two years ish. So being a newbie is really fresh in my mind. A few words about what this talk is. Um, it's a set of ideas to keep in mind in order to make the hacker community less mis 